right? So I'm yes. the burrito queen. You've got the barbecue king of Canada in studio Sundays. Today is an excellent day on DTV Morning Live, eh? the best kind of day. Now, we have to remind you of that giant bowl of uh, pico de gallo that we made earlier. Yeah, this is the dent that we put in it because <laughs> it is so good. Now, this batch, Mario, is super spicy. That's because you did something a little bit different with the jalapeno, right? Yes, we leave the seeds inside the jalapeno. So when you chop it, you leave the seeds and that makes it a little bit spicier. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so now, we're sticking with the, I really want to eat this, but I better not. Okay, so we're Let's sticking with more authentic tacos. recipes that you've got here. That's uh, right. Baracho. So what are we making now? Uh, we're going to prepare the tilapia fish tacos. Okay. Uh, so we want to start heating up the tortillas. All right, so we use the press. You and use I the like press. that. Exactly. That all of the different burritos and tacos that you make, the, the why is it important to heat the tortilla first? Uh, flavor is better when you heat up the tortilla yeah. and it doesn't break. So when you fold it, when you're actually eating, it doesn't, it doesn't break. Okay, especially when you put as much sauce in it as exactly. I do, you need that extra stretch in the shell. Okay, so now exactly. what kind of tortilla are these? Those are corn tortillas. Corn tortilla. Yes. Okay, and do the fish tacos always have a corn tortilla? Yes, they do. Okay. Well, we normally, uh, in Mexico, what we eat, it's a corn tortilla. We do eat the flour tortilla, but that's more in the north of uh, the north part of Mexico. Okay. Uh, so very authentic taco will be made with a uh, corn tortilla. Okay. Which do you like better, the flour or the corn? I like the corn better. Reminds you of home? Yes, it does. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going to flip it over. Oh, they have to be flipped as well. Okay. So yes. now we've got the fish prepared here. How did you make it? Okay. Uh, they are buttered with cerveza. So we prefer our own butter here. Uh, and then we lightly deep fry it. Beer. Uh, yes. Okay. That's correct. Until it's uh, crispy brown, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously we cut the fillet every day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's tilapia fish, so that way we do every day. Okay. Keep Wh it fresh. Why do you use tilapia? Uh, the flavor. It yeah. gives a lot of flavor to the taco. Okay. We like. Let's construct them. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, so you get. So now each order show. always comes with three. Yes. All right. Okay. So you make one the first there. one, and then I'll copy you. All right. You can take this one if you okay, like. Okay. I take one. Right. So, we get the, the whole piece. Fish. Yes, okay. you get the whole piece, and then we come over here. Mm -hmm. You put we put some lettuce. Let me move this one around here. A little bit of lettuce or lots of lettuce? A little bit of lettuce. A little bit. Okay. Just to give it some freshness <laughs> and well, not that much. I'm putting too much too. <laughs> <laughs> don't follow my lead. Oh my yeah, gosh. Eh? you're okay. supposed to follow what I'm doing. I'm following so, you. Yeah, no, don't follow me. I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, and so now, I noticed earlier in the pico de gallo, yes. you use Spanish onion. Yes. But here we've got a different type. Which yeah, one is that's this? That's a red onion. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit stronger. Uh, it has a lot of flavor as well. And that's what we use for the fish taco. Okay. All right? So just put a little bit because it's, it's, it's strong. Okay. So you just put it all over. Get the flavor. Got it. All through the taco. And then we've got a mix, a mix of cheeses over here. We have the cheddar mozzarella. Okay, which one uh, are you going for? I'm going for this. Okay. You can have the, the queso fresco as well. But normally we put the fish tacos with the, with the okay. blend that we have here. There you go. All right. And now, the finishing touch yes. on the fish taco. One of my favorite ingredients here at Burrito Baracho, the burrito sauce. Okay, how much should go on typically? You well, show me first. Uh, is that taco for you or for the rest no, of No, you show <laughs> how it should be and then I'll show you how well, I'm going to do it. We normally just go for a line here. Okay. And But you can put as much as you like. <laughs> And can you please, please release a secret? Tell me what's inside it. I can. I'll do anything. <laughs> we'll do it after we finish with this segment. <laughs> sure, sure. No, that's, that's, you think that I'm going to keep your secret. All oh, right. the burrito sauce, you have to get it when you come and get your tacos or your burrito. Okay, and then you're finishing you it with the fresh. Exactly, you top it up with the pico de gallo. Perfect. And then we just put a little bit of cilantro. Okay. Give it an extra flavor. Excellent. So the fresh fish tacos are one of the many things that you can get here yes, at Burrito right. Baracho. If you head to their website, you can look at the full menu, all of the different things that they have to offer. Coming up a little bit later, we'll head downstairs to the tequila bar and then finish our morning with the big one. That's correct. One kilo of delicious, meaty goodness. I've got to take a break, or we've, uh, I've got to take a bite of this.